up gang i'm back again with another mother freaking video now if you read the title of this video you already know what i'm about to be talking about everybody's talking about it it's the talk of the town whoop de whoop de whoop forgive my background i'm in my stepsister's room drinking a little coffee but i had to get on here and talk about this because anybody who knows me knows that i love will smith i'm a will smith stan will smith is my dude forever and always been rocking with him since first prince that's just what it is so if you haven't seen the video yet which i'm sure you have if you're watching this video but if you haven't seen it here's the video <laughs> oh wow wow will smith just smacked the shit out of it Now, I'm getting a lot of mixed reactions about this video. I'm getting a lot of mixed reactions about how Will Smith handled the situation. So, let's let's just start with this. Let's just start with this. First of all, I'm going to stick beside Will. I'm going to stick beside Will in this one. So, last night when, you know, when the Oscars first happened, everybody was sending me the videos because they know how much I love Will Smith. Oh my gosh, did you see Will? Did you see this? Did you see this? Whoa, 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 whoa. So... My sister had sent me the video in the family group chat and we were having, you know, a discussion about it. We were talking about it, whatever, whatever, whatever. And one of my family members was like, you know, that they think that this is going to be, you know, bad for black men. And Will Smith has never done anything like this. And because of the and because of the fact that Will Smith has never done anything like this, people are going to start thinking, you know, black on black crime is OK. And whoop, -de -whoop, -de -whoop and this is a comedian's job and this, this, this and that. And all of that other good stuff, which I get, I understand. But let's look at the facts. Fact number one, this is not the first time that Chris Rock has made a joke like this about Will Smith's wife. If you look at the 2016 Oscars, he made another joke about Will Smith's wife. Why? I don't know. Maybe he wants Jada. Maybe he just thinks that they're the talk of the town and he can get a little bit of clout because of that. I don't know. But this is not the first time that he's made a joke about Will Smith's wife, okay? Number two, Chris Rock has repeatedly done things that have diminished not only black women, but black people as a whole. There's a clip where Will, not Will Smith, there's a clip where Chris Rock is joking with this white man. This white man is, you know, saying nigger and this, this, this and that. And Chris Rock is just joking, laughing, woo -doo -woo -doo. it's funny, 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 funny. Um, Chris Rock has talked about black women's hair. You know, of course he made the movie Good Hair, you know, about black women's hair. And it wasn't a bad movie, you know, it, it, tried to talk about the the positives in black women's hair and the real about you know getting perms natural hair things like that but he's made multiple jokes about black women and i understand from an entertainment perspective i understand that you you pretty much when you're a comedian everything is on the table you can joke about whatever anything comedians joke about people being retarded people being gay people being mentally challenged people being you know fat skinny black gay like, people joke about everything but I also feel like, and, and again, maybe this is just me because of where I stand in the entertainment industry. I feel like everyone has a, what's the word I'm looking for? Everyone has a service. Everyone has a specific service. And I feel like Chris Rock repeatedly doesn't really care about the things that he says when, as it pertains to black people and black women. That's just me. I'm not saying I don't like Chris Rock. You know, Down to Earth, that's my movie. I've watched it multiple times. I love it. But I I, I can't stand with him on this one. Because this is not the first time that you're joking about this man's wife. You've repeatedly made jokes, you know, with white people about, you know, saying nigger and this, this, this and that. And point number three, Jada just came out with a statement slash interview about why she had to go bald and about why she had to cut her hair and that it wasn't just you know a specific it wasn't a choice kind of thing it was like i had to do this for my health and 
I don't just blame Chris Rock for this because Chris Rock is a comedian, like I said. But I blame every single person who is on the Oscars committee who didn't say, okay, maybe we need to refrain from this joke. You know, maybe we need to refrain from this joke because Jada just said something about the fact that this was not a choice for her. And so I blame I blame every single person who was on that committee who wanted to make Jada feel badly just because it made a little bit of money or because it was it might have been a little bit funny if you actually watch the clip the look on Jada's face she looked mortified like she looked completely uncomfortable and so that is why I am gonna have to stick with Will on this one because as a man or let me say this as a woman you want a man who is gonna defend you you want a man who's going to defend your honor. You want a man who, when you're feeling uncomfortable, when you're being ridiculed, when you're being, when you're the, blah, 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 when you're the laughing stock of the situation, you want a man who's going to stand up and be like, hey, this is my wife. I'm a protector. I'm going to stick beside her. It's not going to go down like this. So I, I stand with Will. And now I'm not saying he should have slapped him. I'm not saying he should have slapped him. But I stand with him in the fact that he, he defended his wife. He defended his wife's honor and because of the fact that they've been so heavy in the media there's been you know jokes about their marriage being a scam jokes about the august alcina thing jokes about you know jada being a cheater there have been jokes about everything red table talk has been a joke everything has just been a joke when it comes to the smith family and in that moment i bet will was just sick and tired and then he looks over and he sees how uncomfortable jada is he sees how uncomfortable the love of his life is his the one person who he is called to protect in this world, other than his kids, he sees her feel so uncomfortable and so sad. In that moment, I probably would have got up and slapped him too. That's just what it is. And I mean, you can feel how you want to feel, but we all have people in our lives that we would defend like that, you know? And, you know, there are some people like, well, he should have done it backstage. Chris Rock didn't disrespect his wife backstage. So you wanted Will Smith to wait until the rest of the Oscars were over and then to say something? Would you want to be with a man like that, though? Would you want to be with a man who would let you get publicly disrespected and then privately say something to the person? No, you need to privately, you need to publicly defend my honor if my honor has publicly been, you know, tarnished or whatever the case may be. Um... Yeah, so I'm going a, I'm to a stick beside Will. And I don't think that Will's reputation is going to be diminished in any sense of the word. Because Will has been in the game so long. Will has done so much. He has created so many movies, TV shows, specials. Will Smith is a black icon. Will Smith is a black icon. Will Smith is one of those people who you can go anywhere in the world and they're going to know the name Will Smith. They've seen one of his movies. They've seen an episode of Fresh Prince. You know what I'm saying? They've heard Summertime featuring DJ Jazzy Jeff. You know, Will Smith is one of those people. So I don't think this is going to tarnish his reputation at all. I think it's going to be a meme. People are going to think it's funny. People are going to be like, okay, let me not mess with Jada. Let me take their relationship and respect their union because that's what it is. It's a union. Regardless of how you feel about it, they're still together. And if they don't want to leave each other, then they're not going to leave each other. And it's nobody's business to come in and comment, you know, on what's going on as it pertains to their life and their relationship. So I said that to say that when push comes to shove, I'm sticking beside Will. Like, that's just what it is. I'm sticking beside Will. He wasn't wrong. He defended his wife's honor. He did what needed to be done. And, you know, I bet Chris Rock won't make another joke about Jada. I mean, that's just what it is. Don't, don't, he said, keep his wife's name out your freaking mouth. So keep his wife's name out your freaking mouth. That's just what it is. And period. I am going to enjoy the rest of my vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Do a little bit of writing, do a little bit of work, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!